Here we are at Lumberman's Monument. Fun times in the snow. It's really cold today. It snowed last night. And obviously I'm wearing my best snow shoes. And then just my regular gym shoes. Through the trees over there is the sand dune. There's a staircase over here we could go down, but we're not doing that today. We are doing the Highland Banks Trail. Coming up to the sand dune. Look at all those birds. I wonder if something died up there. Sand dune. I've gone up and down that thing so many times. Let's go a little bit and look at it. 120 feet down. I think it'd be fun and very scary to go down it on a sled in the winter. I'm not sure if I'd be more terrified or it'd be more fun, but. So to do the whole trail, you would start at Iago Springs and then walk all the way past the town where the um, campground is. But that's six miles and we only, if we did out and back, that'd be 12 miles total. So we're parked at Lumberman's Monument right here. And we're doing this side today. So it's about three miles total. Um, well, one direction, so it'd be six miles today total. And then the, tomorrow we'll do this side, which will be another six miles out and back. And the most fun part, not really is the part of walk, but there's a way around it. And here is the back side of the sand dune. If I went up to the top, you would see the asable. But I don't want to get cold sand in my feet today. I can help it. So climbing up the back of another sand dune. Coming to this view. And there's actually like a trail kind of running along Highlands Bank Trail that's really pretty. Um, we'll see how much of it we can do. Whether it's not like the too slippery. And it's hard to see too in the winter. When your dog's trying to kill you. Stop pulling shadow. Oh, that wind is very bitter on your face. So if you ever want to find the trail, if you go up the back side of a dune, um, you'll find like a sh flat little path cutting through them and you can just follow those trails. It just kind of fizzles off though towards the end and you have to do like this crazy steep climb. And it goes down to a valley, which I don't think you'll be able to do right now either. But it's really pretty. You get a lot more river views. And the islands in the river too, 
um, you can actually camp on them. You just have to reserve it ahead of time. But those sites tend to fill up pretty fast. Walk shadow. Ooh, that's pretty. I want to go fix this for camera. What they call a widow maker. Just barely on there. And if you look at it, you can. Very interesting. What they have to do. Did you follow for me? No, no, no. I was like, widow maker, and I'm like, why are you stopped? Yeah, one of the rules with camping is you look to make sure there isn't any dead trees where you're setting up your tent. Because if it falls over on you, like in your tent, Widowmaker. We're back on the official Highland Trail. We got to the part where it goes into a valley and it's really steep to go down and really steep to come up the other side. And again, I'm not wearing the right shoes to be doing that in the snow.